Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to edit music. It's pretty fun and pretty easy. Let's just go ahead and jump right in and get to it. First thing we're going to do is drag some video into our timeline here. That way we have something to work with. I'm going to magnify the clip here and mess with the sizing so we can see better. So this is our video clip. This clip here has no audio whatsoever. So let me shrink the size of this. Now we need to put some music to this wonderful uh, footage here. And I have two songs here. There's a couple ways you can add audio to your, your video. You can just click on it and drag it down in here, right underneath the video. And you can see there's a little pointer here that kind of attaches it to the video there. Okay, let's delete and undo that. There's another way you can drag it down here to the music bed where it exists on its own and it's not connected to the video whatsoever. And uh, this allows you to kind of edit the clip itself without having to worry about where the audio is attached or not attached. Sometimes if you do a clip that's actually attached and you do it like an edit, a split here, and then you delete this, your audio disappears, which kind of sucks. So uh, that's, pr that's probably happened to a bunch of you out there who've used the uh, iMovie here. So let's go ahead and undo that by holding the command key and clicking on the Z key or the Z if you're in another part of the world. Let's undo all those changes. Okay. And we'll even undo this down here. So putting music into your timeline, there's two ways. You can do it right below here or into the music bed or the audio bed down there. You can also do sections of the music here by grabbing these little bracket tools and then bracketing out exactly what you want. Then you can drag it down to where you need it here or down on a music bed. Or you can hit this plus sign here and it'll drop it down there for you. Again, you can move it around once you get it. If you need it attached to the video or if you want it in the audio bed. So it really doesn't matter where you put it. Just kind of what you get used to editing with. Most of the time, I usually put it attached to the, the actual video itself. But if I know I'm going to do some complex music editing, I definitely put the whole thing down here in the audio bed. That way it's not dependent on what's happening in the, the video itself. So it's kind of up to you. Most of the time, like I said, I usually put it here, but if I'm going to do like a complex edit to a beat type uh, video, then I'll put it down here. That way I don't have to worry about my music and my video shifting around and accidentally deleting that audio clip. Like I showed you just a minute ago. Also, um, instead of using these brackets here, you can use some keyboard shortcuts. You can use the I key and the O key. So you put your cursor where you want it and you click on I. You move it down, you click on O and it'll select that area. Then again, from here, you can drag it or click on that plus sign to get it down here. So that's just another way to add it down there. So let's go ahead and move one of these down here into our timeline here. And let's work on some basic audio editing. The simplest way to edit is to just do cuts. <laughs> so just select the clip itself. Let's move this out a little so we can kind of see what the, the waveform is doing here. So maybe this little section here I don't want. You can just right click or command click and do that split clip. And then you can delete that section by click selecting on it and hitting delete on the keyboard or right click and delete here with the selection. Let's undo that. You can also, if you're at the beginning or the end of a clip, a music clip, you can just drag it in. You can do that as well and then move the clip over to kind of match it up with the beginning. Let's move our cursor around to like this area. Let's do a split. Right click or command click and split. Now with this section here, we can actually control the volume by going up or down of this one little area. If you don't have a split, you're controlling the audio of the whole clip itself. You know, the music level will be higher or lower based on that. So if you need to just do a certain area, you can just split that clip right there. And now you can control this independent of the other one. And of course you can do as many as you want. If you need to do several different levels, maybe the recording levels were higher and lower, or maybe you, you just, want to completely lower it in one area, but you want it loud in another area. And then you want to completely lower it in another area. So you have no sound, sound, no sound. This is kind of like the easiest way to do it. split the clip, raise or lower your volume. That's all. 
If you notice on the beginning and the end of every music clip or every audio clip here, you can actually fade it in or fade it out by dragging this little tool here. There it is right there. Again, you'll notice at the beginning and end of all these music files here, these clips has it. So that's another tool you can use to edit music. Let's undo all these by doing command Z. Okay, now our music's back the way it was. Again, when you hover your mouse over it, those little arrows appear, and now you can have a long fade in or a shorter fade in and fade out on the opposite end, of course. The next way to edit music is my favorite way to do it. And right now we're gonna be using the R key. So what you're gonna do is hold the R key, then you're gonna drag your mouse or your pointer, and you're gonna select a region here. So remember R for region. Then from there, you can go up or down in the volume. And let's click off here. And you'll notice what iMovie did is it put two keyframes on each side. And now what it does is it allows you to control that region's music or audio. So let's undo that. Again, you're just holding the R key. You'll see the little icon up here, the little yellow bracket thing. And you can select, you know, a little area here. Maybe you want to get rid of this altogether. You just drag that down completely. And now that section doesn't have that piece of music or audio. Maybe there's a little glitch or a pop or something you want to get rid of. You can do that. Or maybe you want to, maybe you want that beat to hit a little bit harder. So you raise it up a little bit and you'll notice that you'll have yellow and red. So that basically means the audio is starting to peak. And if you're editing music and audio, I highly recommend you use headphones or really good speakers so you can kind of hear what's going on. Sometimes, music will peak at a lower level. It just depends on what level it was recorded. So, but basically try not to get into the red and, you know, barely into the yellow if you need to go louder. But again, if you're listening to it and it sounds clear, yeah, no problem. But just be aware that iMovie's telling you, Hey, it's starting to, you know, probably going to be clipping up here. It's starting to get a little distorted. So just be careful with that. Okay. So that's the R key. You can do as many times as you want. Go down, up, you can do long sections, short sections. So it's really handy. I use this functionality all the time, especially on these tutorials. If I do like a big breath, like <gasps> before I start talking, the first thing I'm gonna do is hold that R key, find that breath, and I'm just gonna delete. I'm gonna bring that volume down to zero. If it's a cough or it's a little hiccup or a glitch, Maybe I don't need it to go down to zero, but maybe I want it to be low enough so you really can't hear it, but it's not sounding like there's no sound there. So I'll do that as well when I'm editing. And with music, of course, and video, depending on what's happening in the video, you might want it to be louder or quieter in certain parts of the video. So you can use this functionality, this R key, this range selector to actually do that. So it's really cool function. I love it. I use it all the time. Next, we're gonna go to the next level of that functionality. And again, when I said to use the R key, it actually adds keyframes. As soon as you move this, it adds two keyframes. One, two, three, four on each side. So we can add these things manually by just holding the option key and clicking on that line there in the music. You can add your four, two on each side. So now you can control in there. You can add as many as you want. You can add hundreds, you know, it doesn't matter. Just keep going all the way down. You can have it go down. You can have it go up. So you can customize exactly how you want that, that sound to actually hit when you're editing that video. It's really advanced and cool functionality. And I'm glad that Apple actually left it in here. Sometimes I think they took too much out of iMovie and left everything in Final Cut, but luckily they actually left this functionality here. So. It really helps a lot when you're editing music or audio. So it's really, really good function. I highly recommend you get used to doing it and just, you know, customize the way your, your audio is in your final video production. So pretty cool. Okay. Well, I think that's it for today's tutorial. I want to thank everybody for watching. And as usual, hit that thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all that wonderful jazz. And we'll catch you in the next video. Peace and aloha.